you will find your Alice in the Wonderland. Pata hi nahi hai kya basic structure, lekin basic structure tak nahi karna. Kuch log kehte hai, ye deliberate tha. Ke define mat karo. Kuch log kehte hai, this was a mistake by the Supreme Court. That you are saying something, but you are not explaining it. जैसे डिबेट एक चलती है कि 70 साल में हमने भारत के संविधान को 105 बार अमेंड कर दिया वेर इज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ यूएसए पास इन 1740 हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी इज अमेंडेड ओनली ट्वेंटी टाइम्स ढाई सौ साल में 20 बार और 70 साल में 105 बार तो ये डिबेट होती है कि कौन सा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बेटर है आपको क्या लगता है हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू फील दैट समथिंग विच इज अमेंडेड ओनली ट्वेंटी टाइम्स इन टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी एट ईयर्स इज बेटर रेज योर हैंड एंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू फील दैट समथिंग इज अमेंडेड हंड्रेड एंड फाइव टाइम्स इन सेवेंटी ईयर्स इज बेटर रेज योर हैंड चलो पेट्रियोटिज्म तो है भारत हाँ बोलिए क्या नाम है आपका क्या नाम है रचना कह रही है क्या पूछ रहे हो इन रेलिवेंट क्वेश्चन पूछो पूछने से पहले सोचो तो सही इन रेलिवेंट है शी इज नॉट आंसरिंग आउट ऑफ सिलेबस क्वेश्चन पूछो आई विल नॉट आंसर इट अरे बेटा यू आर टॉकिंग ऑफ मेथडोलॉजी ऑफ गवर्नेंस बींग डिफरेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन है इन रेलिवेंट नहीं रेलिवेंट है You are not comparing oranges with apple. You are comparing oranges with oranges. It is constitution versus constitution. Yeah. Now you have understood. Yeah. So raise your hand. Which side you are? U.S. or India? <laughs> Achha, you will avoid the question. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It can also be argued that the constitution of U.S. started out as a better constitution, which required lesser of your amendments. Okay. I'm not saying it's better, but it can also be. No good. I need your perspective. There's no mistake in that. It's your perspective. She says, "What's your name?" Renal. Renal. Renal says something which is amended only 20 times in 250 years definitely is better because this is better drafted. Hey na? Hey pa? What I said now? Achhi. So, kya kaha? Aap hi bata dijiye. I said there's a possibility. अच्छा देखो पॉसिबिलिटी यू आर बिहेविंग लाइक सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया क्लियर कुछ नहीं बोलेंगे पॉसिबिलिटी है देख लो आपको क्या लगता है ठीक है ये भी एक व्यू है जी So finally, what's your view? <laughs> oh, oh, with, what's your view? She says U.S. is possibly better. You are possibly India is better. Or confirm India is better. <laughs> I, I personally, I think India is better. Okay. Krisha says India is better. Rinal says U.S. is better. How many of you agree with Rinal? I did not say. Achha, that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going there. Yeah. So I just said that the reason of the law ceasing is. In the law, the reason of the law ceases. The law itself ceases. So I feel because we are constantly changing, our environment is changing. There are more technological developments. The needs of the people are changing. Uh, the environment they need to live in is changing. So finally, what is your conclusion? So the more amendments, the better. So, so you're <laughs> joining Krishna, na? Yeah, There's no third angle. <laughs> Correct. So think whatever you think, <laughs> possibly or definitely or actually or whatever. 
my point of view is matching with Krisha. No, because I also feel flexibility is a virtue and rigidity is definitely not a virtue but a problematic situation. And I can give you an example of your family. Sometimes due to the generation gap, you people feel that your father is not understanding your perspective. And your grandfather so definitely <laughs> He's meditated. He thinks that this should be the method of doing it. Whereas we know that what we are doing. So if in your family, in simple one generation, you can't tolerate your parents' view or grandparents' view, how can you tolerate a constitution drafted 72 years back with that perspective, that climate, that situation? You need changes. And that's why these changes are happening for good of you. And if it is drafted by you 72 years back, you are redrafting it today. What's wrong with it? Rigidity decays. And something which decays smells bad. It brings a lot of diseases. So before the diseases come, <coughs> if you have changed and took the correct medicine, the remedy is it? And that is why there's a lot of water flow in Kansas since Kesavan and the Bharati Even Kesavan and the Bharati doctrine have been diluted to the not context. Although it remains a landmark judgment. After Kulakanath Shankar Prasad, even Minerva Mills versus Union of India, 1980 Supreme Court. Menaka Gandhi vs. Union of India, 1978 Supreme Court. These are all landmark judgments. But the doctrines <coughs> being propounded afresh and new changes have been brought into light in the consistency with the current status of the nation. And that is always better. So this, these judgments which I quote are all significant because they demonstrate the tussle of supremacy between three limbs of the governance, the executive, the legislature, the judiciary. Judiciary keep trying to cut the wings of the unchecked flight of the parliament. The parliament keeps on trying to fly high. But this goes on. And it has not stopped. It will not stop. And it should not stop. Because that's good for our nation. Something remain unchecked will definitely create problems. Aisa nahi hai ke parliament te supreme court ko unchecked rakha hai. Reverse bhi waisa hi sach hai. Hundred and second amendment of the constitution of India. Supreme court ka judgment aya. Ki OBC ki list. OBC means other backward classes. <coughs> Central government finalize karegi. Kiska judgment hai? Supreme Court of India. Kisko power di? 
सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट को यह पावर लेना अच्छा नहीं लगा उन्होंने कहा सर ये क्या बात है हमारे सर पे सारी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी अरे किस स्टेट का कौन सा सेक्शन बैकवर्ड है फॉरवर्ड है ये उस स्टेट को तय करने दो हम क्यों तय करें सी ही द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज गिविंग पावर to the central government and the central government is understanding the trap and saying no 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 this is not the power this is responsibility and we refuse to undertake it hai na majedar cheez the responsibility in the disguise of power given by supreme court Parliament brought amendment to the Constitution of India and superseded the Supreme Court's judgment, stating that the power to make the final list of OBC lies with the state governments. All the state governments were happy. Ha, ye chalaga. 